Hi everyone! Welcome and thank you for joining me today. I'm a little excited and a little nervous um, because today we are going to do a science experiment. Mrs. Arnold has on some gloves because we're going to be touching some kind of gross stuff or I guess I'm going to be touching some kind of gross stuff. So let me tell you what we're doing today. Yesterday we learned all about owls and owls we talked about how they don't have any teeth and so whenever they eat their prey or their food, they use their very sharp beak to tear it apart. But they don't have any teeth to chew like we do. So usually that means that they swallow things and sometimes they swallow things that are too big. I don't know how many of you have a cat at home, but usually a cat grooms itself by licking its fur, right? Well, eventually that cat gets so much hair in its stomach that it has to throw up and have a hairball and I know that's really gross but owls kind of do the same thing they eat things that are too big for them sometimes and they eat them with the hair and everything on it that they eventually have to throw it up or regurgitate it and what they do then is it like forms a ball or a pellet inside their stomach and they throw that up and they just leave it on the ground so Mrs. Arnold found some online on Amazon and we are going to pull apart a few owl pellets now they're wrapped in foil to keep them safe but inside we can find kind of see what the owl ate so I have this cool fancy sheet here that shows us different things that we might find so we might find some bones we're going to see a lot of hair um, but it shows you what those bones could possibly be from. So it looks like it could be like most of these ones that we get could be from a mole, a shrew, or different types of rodents. And there might even be some birds in there as well. So we're gonna pull one apart and see what we find. And hopefully we find some cool stuff. Now bear with me because I had to set up my laptop here to, for, to film this on top of a binder at an angle so that I can angle you down so you can see what I'm doing. So if you fall in the middle of it, I'm very sorry. But here we go. I'm going to move you down so you can see my paper towel here. Let's see what we find in our owl pellets. We're going to pull them apart. So I got to unwrap it first. There it is. That's an owl pellet. And I know it looks like something that comes out of the other end of an owl, but I promise it is not poop. So don't think that. It is not poop. It is throw up, actually. It's what they threw up. So are you ready to find out what's inside of it? Got my tweezers here. Here we go. We're going to start pulling it apart and see what we can find. So look at all this hair from whatever the owl decided to eat. Oh, it's hard. Mrs. Arnold's never done this before, so. Oh, I see a bone already. Let's see if I can unbury the bone. I'm afraid I'm going to break the bone. I think I kind of did already. I'm going to use my fingers instead and see if I can get a little bit further. So, as I'm doing this, they do this their body puts it into owl pellets and they throw it back up because their body can't break down the bones oh you're falling i knew it would happen stay i can't touch you and touch the grossness computer oh there we go Woo! use my pinkies mrs arnold's gonna have to lice all her computer when all this is said and done Man, you're just not cooperating, computer, are you? Need something to hold it. That probably won't help, but we'll try. Okay, so Mrs. Arnold broke it into a piece here, and if you look inside this one, you can see a bone. So let's see if we can get more into it there. So we got lots of hair here. Oh, oh, there's a bone. Look, we got a tiny little bone. That could be a rib. 
Or I think it's supposed to be attached to this bigger bone here and it broke off. I can't really unbury this bigger bone though. Oh, there we go. That was a nice big chunk that came out of the bone. There we go. Can you see the bone? Can you see it start to be seen? Oh my goodness, look at that. See that? It's like a little head. We found a little head. Let's see what else we can find. Tell this owl ate some type of little animal, huh? Can't tell if there's something in that. Mm. Nope, just fur. I wish we could have done this together, but I guess at least you get to see it on here, huh? There's another bone hidden in all this fur right here, but I can't get the hair to come off. Well, I guess it's not a bone. It's just fur. It looks like a bone. Oh, look inside there. So many different bones. Oh my goodness, there's little leg bones or arm bones or something. Let's pull those out. Wow. Am I grossing anybody out right now? There's another little bone. This owl pellet has all kinds of bones in it. Oh, I'm not really sure what this is. Some type of, I don't know. There, I got more fur out of it. Ah, oh, you can see teeth. Do you see the little teeth? I don't know if that comes through on your end or not, but I can see little teeth. Wow. Oops, I just crushed this whatever that is. Mrs. Arnold squeezed too hard. I'm not really sure what it is, though. So. so I don't know what that is, but it is a bone, and it's very fragile. It keeps breaking. We are slowly, oh, there's another one. We're slowly getting to the big piece. 
I think we're only going to have time to do one owl pellet because this one has so much stuff in it. I had another one pulled out, but we may not have time to do both. Lots of itty bitty tiny bones. Oh my goodness. Mrs. Arnold could be here all day dissecting this. There's another bone and I just dropped another little one too. And another one. Oh, look at that. It's a little bit bigger bone. Oof, that's a pretty big bone compared to our other bones. That seems to be attached to something. So as you can see, we're finding lots of little bones. Start to think about what those little bones could be for. Do you see my little pile of bones going on over here? Hmm, I think that might just be a piece of grass. I don't think that's a bone. Oh, what is this? It's the other side of its mouth. I see more little teeth. I still can't tell if you guys can actually see this when I show you or not. But there's some little teeth. There's something here. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Oh no, you're falling again. Darn, you stayed for a really long time. Mrs. Arnold will be sanitizing her computer like no tomorrow after this video.
So I'm not really sure what this is, but it, there's something here. But it's also extremely fragile. Keeps breaking. Oh. So we'll add that over there. Let's go for the big piece because we're starting to get quite a bit of time on our video. There's another leg or something. Ooh, that looks like a rib. Maybe this is its like rib cage. Or its foot, because that looks like a claw. Hmm. Oh, did you hear that snap? That was not a good sound. That means Mrs. Arnold broke something. Ooh, that was a big chunk that came out, but there's something in that chunk. Oh my goodness, it just keeps coming apart. I thought this was going to be a big thing, but it's not very big. That's a really nice clean bone there. I better not done all that work just for bone or leg bone or arm bone. I think we have a head. Oh my goodness, my computer will not stay. I need something heavier to hold it. That should be heavy enough. Okay, I think we found a head, friends. Do you want to see the head? Okay, it's good enough. Oh, I just dropped the head. There we go. I'm thinking that could be a head. Nope. Maybe it's a foot. I'm not really sure. Mrs. Arnold's not an animal person, animal doctor. She's a teacher. That's just all fur. We found a tiny little like vertebrae. Ooh, 
Oh, I got another rib. Do you see how that's curved? That's why it's a rib. Our ribs are like that too, where they curve. Oh, look at this bone. It's an interesting bone. It looks kind of like a bird's foot. There's another one. I'm thinking this owl had a bird for dinner. What do you think? Do you think this owl had a bird for dinner? There's another tiny little bone. Look, I'm finding smaller pieces back in all the stuff we've done. Okay, we are at 20 minutes now, which is usually the cap of my videos. So if you want, you are more than welcome to log off now. But if you'd like to see what else we can find, then you can keep watching, okay? So don't feel bad if you log off, it's totally okay. You've met your time requirement. Oh. But I'm gonna finish this owl pellet. I still got a lot to go. It's up to you whether you want to sit here and watch me finish the owl pellet. There's a bone here, but it's too fragile to pull anything else off of it. It's going to break. Got another little claw. Okay, this kind of looks like a head, but I don't, I just don't know. Take a look at that. So we have like three of those now. You know, the odd thing is this doesn't really smell. You would think it would smell, but it really doesn't, which is kind of odd. We got another little claw. I can't believe how many bones we've found in this owl pellet. 
Some owl pellets you don't find as much in. You find a lot more hair, but this one seems to have bones galore. Must have been a really hungry owl, huh? I think I found another little head, but I'm not entirely sure. I did. There we go. Okay. Here's our last little bone. So, there's probably Still some bones over here. I can see a few whenever I move them around. But let's take a look at the bones that we did find. Now I can't really bring them closer to you because that means I'd have to touch my computer with my Jeremy hands. But we found lots of little bones. We found some heads. Let's see. So the ones that we seem to find a lot of were like these type of heads. And according to our sheet, this is the head of a rodent. So like a mouse or something along those lines. We found a lot of rodent heads. I think we have like four of them. One, two, three, and that really small one right there, four. We also found, we thought we found some bird feet. Where'd those go? Here's one. And according to the page, it does look like it is a bird foot. So Mrs. Arnold was right. That is a bird's foot. So this owl ate some rodents, four rodents. He also ate a bird. I wonder what these are. We found lots of these. They look like claws. Hmm. I don't really see these. So I'm not sure what these are. They're not on our paper. Oh yes, they are, there they are. It's the mandible of a rodent. So it's the rodent's jaw. So this kind of goes under its mouth and that's its head. Oh, I just dropped it. That's why I thought I saw teeth on them. I knew I wasn't crazy. How cool is that? So that's like the bottom of its mouth and it opens. Mrs. Arnold's just dropping all kinds of stuff. We also have some leg bones, like this one was a really good leg bone, and this would be, it looks like it would match up to be a femur, which is its big bone in its leg, where your thigh is, that's where its femur would be. Um, we just have lots of little bones, too. So, from that one owl pellet, look at all this fur. Look at how much fur, that's so gross. Ugh and four rodents and a bird. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. I hope you enjoyed this and it didn't gross you out too much and you learned something more about owls and how owls get rid of the parts that their body can't digest. Um, but yeah, it. this is what an owl throws up. And we pulled it apart and we found all the types of bones in it from our rodents. I have this little sheet here that I could match them and I hope you enjoyed it. But um, yeah, I will see you later. Bye.